A wise man once said, If someone wishes for good health, one must first ask oneself if he is ready to do away with the reasons for his illness. Only then is it possible to help him. This wise man was a physician that encouraged self-healing. You see, he understood the fine balance of body and mind. Today we will discover the secrets of healing oneself, a secret passed down from a time long forgotten. In the time of Pericles, in the time of Hippocrates, the father of medicine, Self-healing is not a revolutionary idea, but can be traced back to the 4th century. As a physician, self-healing was encouraged. You see, the Greeks' cures consisted of two major methods. Indirect cures included therapies with roots, herbs, diets, ointments, as well as exercise. Not so different from what you might hear at a doctor's visit. Divine healing was done through divine intervention. A patient would first be taken to a healing temple. There they would be asked a series of questions about their past regrets or some type of dramatizing event that happened in their lifetime. This was done to release the stress or burden that one might be carrying so that the body could heal. After this they would be taken to another room. The stage would be set with demigods and artifacts and through the laying of hands priests or priestesses would channel the healing power of the gods. Because the patient's belief is so strong for the demigod or the artifact being used at the ceremony, the mind will trick itself and the body begins to self-heal. This is a perfect example of the placido effect. When you trick the mind, the body will follow. Hippocrates understood the relationship between the body and the mind as being one when it comes to your health. Your body is equipped with a natural self-repair mechanism that are under the influence of your thoughts, your feelings, and beliefs that originate in your mind. In many cases, your illnesses was manifested by the illness you have inside of yourself. What this means is to get rid of the disease, you first need to find the root of your troubles. You begin this by going deep within yourself and being honest and bring it to the surface, acknowledge it, realize it does not serve you anymore, and you cut it loose. This knowledge is important because we know by clearing any negative thoughts or feelings from our past or present situation, and by exposing them and cutting them loose, we will be able to reactivate our body's self-healing mechanisms. Once you have made this a reality in your belief system, then you have taken your first step towards self-healing. You are perfect in every way and your body is designed to self-heal. The reason you are perfect is because the human race has not evolved in over 200,000 years. You are the end product of a perfect being. We thank you for joining us today on Discover Zone and if you enjoyed the video leave us a thumbs up or leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Until then, may you all be safe, be aware, and we will see you next week on Discover Zone.